bring that over here to me. I, I, I'll hunt you down if you don't bring that over. <laughs> I will hunt you. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm trying to figure out who you actually look like. I'm like with the hair and, and all that slick back. And I'm, there's gonna, there's, I'm gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come to me about two in the morning. I'm gonna freaking call you <laughs> because you'll still be up, Coach. Hold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are we good in the frame, John? Yeah. We okay? You gotta move me. Or him? Good. We're good? Mm -hmm. Okay, man, Coach Pedroza. First of all, congratulations, Matt. We, we've Thank gone you. full circle oh, here, yeah, haven't we? Man. You yeah. have had a heck of a season. Congratulations. Thank you. I want you to talk about the play, particularly of, of your quarterback, of Jason, mm -hmm. of, 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 of Jordan. Those two seem to connect real well today. What was that all about? Uh, we, we knew they were going to give us a lot of plays on the outside. Uh, you know, they, we knew they were pretty good in the middle, and, and we knew that we could use our speed against them. And uh, going in, that was the game plan. And, and you know, Jason's been battling an injury all week and uh, didn't really practice much this week, didn't run this much, uh, that much this week. And uh, we put it in their hands, and, and him, Cyrus, Jordan, on the on the edges, and trusted our own line to make the blocks up front, and they did. No question about it. And, and let's, give, let's give Silver Valley a little credit. Watching this kid, uh, EJ Ane, um, talk about, how critical it was to keep him contained. Oh, he was a stud, man. I mean, we knew going in we had to contain him. Mm -hmm. And we contained, we, you know, we did a good job containing him, and then they started using the quarterback, who was another good athlete, you know. And, um, you know, luckily we, we had some breaks at the in the second half, and uh, our kids battled, man. Our, our defense kept tackling and tackling and tackling and knew we had to get five, six, seven hats at the ball, and we did. You guys have done that all year, and you battled through some mistakes and some things that you'd like to not see, but you battled through all that yep. to get a CIF Division 13 championship. First one since 1929. We talked about that earlier. It's crazy. crazy Show the folks one more time what the hardware looks That's like, Coach. Is, That's baby. a CIF championship for you folks right there. right there. They have earned it. We've been with this team quite a bit this year and seen how they progress. Can't wish you enough. Uh, you, congratulations. Thank What's you, next for this uh, football team? As of right now, I don't know. I mean, I think we find out tomorrow afternoon uh, if we're in the regionals, which I hope we are because we, we love playing football. And I want to play <laughs> I want to play two more weeks if possible. That would so, be awesome. We hope to be right. with you. Right, congratulations. Thanks, Go join your right. buddies, okay? Thank you, thank you Coach. Right. Appreciate it. That was Coach Robert Perdoza. I know he would. I knew he would join us. If he didn't, I would have hunted him down tonight, sometime tonight, with that trophy, and we would have gotten a picture of it right here at HSPN because we've been together with these guys pretty much all year. They've been so gracious, and um, it's great to see them win this championship. I know the kids are excited. Obviously, you can see Coach Pedroza is excited as well too, and, and we're excited. Um, it, it's great to be here to witness this at the end, and I hope that you've enjoyed what we've been able to bring to you. i got to give a shout-out to a man, John Ian, who's behind the camera. He's been with me all season pretty much, and uh, he does a lot of leg work. He puts a lot of tweets out, and I appreciate you, John, and kind of keeping me straight, <laughs> and that's a hard thing to do because I'm all over the place too. I guess for now we're going to sign out and sign off for the 2017 high school football season. You may hear from us next week depending upon where some of these teams play and to understand how this works. At the CIF level, you have a southern section, you have a northern section champion, and so in the southern section, they could actually play in a regional championship that encompasses a state championship rather than just a southern section region. But for now, these guys are crowned as the Southern Section CIF Division 13 champions. Don't pay any attention to Division 13. It matters not. The only thing you need to pay any attention to is the fact that they are champions. And so please uh, stay with us all throughout the season. We're going to come back in mid-January with basketball. So that's another reason why you should subscribe to HSPN YouTube make comments if you like but certainly subscribe so you get all the content that we put together all throughout the year um, you will be alerted as to when that content comes up and you can see all of it this is david hill with hspn sports right here at fred kelly stadium for the last time this season uh, with the cif champions orange high school panthers <laughs>